my father and uh, I are uh, in completely different time, and uh, even my father spent some time in the same communist uh, condition, but uh, today are very different from uh, before. Uh, in my father's generation, it cost him so much, like 20 years in exile. And before that, it cost him, like, he was sentenced to six years in jail. And all he did, maybe all together, would be one day my topic on Twitter. You know, whatever I said one day would be. You know, much stronger and uh, contains much more uh, information than they did in their life, and also will be much more people read. So we are in very different time. What I'm dealing today is not only the government, not not only the just the the, the officials, but also the Chinese culture, the 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 tradition we have. The kind of culture which never really think scientific development on the democracy is important. Never think individual uh, freedom is important. So we are facing very different uh, conditions. And also today I have uh, uh, technical support, you know, uh, and China become more international, more open. You know, has to accept the openness because China has, has want to survive. So there are similarities and there are big differences. I think the society in in China, this kind of dictator, dictatorship or authoritarian society, is about mainly they can survive because they're hiding most truths. You know, they are not telling the truth, so they are limited the information for ordinary people to, to even to make judgment, to have a balanced view, or to even to anticipate because they don't, there is not enough information ever. Now I also I cannot say I'm not scared, you know, um, but still, if. I decide to stay in China, and if I decide to to share my feelings with the people there, and uh, this it seems no other choice. You have to um, st uh, stand up to speak out of your your mind, and to to say, you know, we have enough of this, and uh, we have to stop it. You're not scared yourself. I am. Uh, it's a very mixed feeling, you know. You, I think I don't believe anybody who said I'm not scared. Even you put me in jail because in jail is minutes by minutes, second by second condition. You know, it's a very bad situation in China. So in that sense, I'm very scared. You know, I'm much used to ordinary life, comfortable and easy. So, but I don't know, you know. Maybe in that condition, I feel more free. You know, how do you know? But uh, still, uh, from today, being a free man, I, I would say, oh, this is not a condition I would, would accept. But if, um, because I'm speaking out, many others can, can without the same kind of condition, you know. Can can reduce the possibility for more people, uh, like my father's generation. They sacrifice hundreds thousands of people. That silently, you know, with all the insult, with all kind of, um, you know, unspeakable sadness. So I think uh, my condition is not bad. But didn't you ever see your life as being in danger? <clears throat> I think in general life is in danger. I have good friends. One day we were in the party, next day he write to me, wait, wait, you know, I have a very bad cancer, I just found out. He's a nice man, he's healthy, you know, he's European, but 
he would tell me that. Life is in danger every day. Consciousness or not consciousness, you know, we, we are in danger. Um, I'm very hopeful because I'm very grateful of life. You know, this is a, ch a single chance and we all had equality. And, uh, you know, that uh, doesn't matter what condition you have, poor or rich or better opportunity or less fortunate. We have uh, this beautiful life. We have to fight for these rights. And uh, this is the only thing we, we need to do, you know, to protect that rights.